Hi guys, that's Dorota Palicka, international nail artist and educator here. And today I have prepared another beautiful design for you. Have a preview of it in here. Yes, that's what we are going to learn today in this tutorial. I hope you really enjoy it. Uh, if you do, let me know in the comments below as I'm really looking forward to reading them all. Uh, I usually uh, also try to pick up the most interesting comments uh, as well and give an answer in the next um, coming videos. Uh, so check that out uh, if you uh, if you ask it like I'm really important questions. I'm very happy to answer it uh, for you in a video. Uh, if you're new in here, don't forget to subscri subscribe as there is lots of tutorials coming up every Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays. We've got also a few few hundred videos to catch up uh, where you can find lots of great new art ideas and um, also a structure and a little bit of the theory as well. Uh, but let's start this video. So just fun design to do it guys. We are going to use 235. I actually love this technique and uh, I think I become addicted now. <laughs> um, so first of all you have to paint uh, the nails the desired color. And in my case it's pink and rose gold. What a combination. And you know what guys I've got some nails which are actually in this color and I'm gutted now because I would fancy something like this. Uh, it is absolutely awesome. You're also going to need a transfer foil uh, gel glue. So I'm just putting a scoop of it in there. When my tip is cooking. And then that's it ready-ish. So apply quickly a second layer. Honestly, I would, uh, I'm got it now because I would fancy it on my nails. Uh, it's just a perfect color combination. Okay, and then that's it cook it in. So um, we are also going to need some matte uh, top coat and a transfer foil. When my tip is curing uh, I'm going to cut uh, some piece of the transfer foil and this rose gold is amazing. Uh, it's just a perfect shade. Um, we've got a few different transfer foils like uh, the basics is a gold, pale gold. Pale gold is really nice as well. It has a nice shade of the um, of the gold, just a perfect one. Okay, so my tip is cooked. We are going to apply a matte top coat over it. Now, it is really important that you do follow those steps, uh, otherwise it wouldn't work that way. Um, so matte top coat will prevent the transfer foil to stick in into the other places. It will only stick into places we want. Okay, so apply the matte top coat over the entire design. And then cook it in. To save your time when my tip is curing, I'm going to finish this one uh, off and uh, we will use some white gel and a D-liner brush, which I put on the side. So pick up a small scoop. I will do maybe a few different one. No, I'm not. Sorry, cameraman. <laughs> I had to finish it off like this. I'm just addicted to them as well. I think it's elegant. 
I know you don't like them because it's the same movement the entire video, same like a caviar beats. He feels bored when I'm doing the same movement. Oh, that's so pretty. Don't you think? You like it? Ooh. Okay. If you like it, then it is okay. I will make them slightly different, you know, we will... You can see it when I'm... I'm trying to paint it like really as quick as possible. Obviously, the longer time I would spend on it, the prettier the leaves I would achieve. But what I'm doing is uh, I'm picking up a wee blob and then I'm dragging it in to prolong it. Okay, put this pretty new on the side and go back. So uh, this top, uh, this tip is top coated and matte, blue scrap to clean it. And then we are going to use guys the toothbrush. <laughs> I have done some videos with the toothbrush and a pigment before and I think they are awesome. So I'm just dipping in the toothbrush in the foil gel, remove the excess of it. And then what you have to do it is just go and create scratches. And in the places where you paint those scratches, you will transfer the foil. And I think that looks absolutely amazing. You can go as random as you want. Uh, I think I'm happy with it. So I'm going to give it a cure. And then we can also paint the design on this one. So on this one, I'm going to do some branches. Like this. And then once we've got the branches dotting tool, and with the dotting tool we do couple dots obviously the the more uh, branches you do the better now the foil glue we cure it 60 seconds so my tip is cooking and that's it cooked so I'm just going to take it out put this one on the side take the transfer foil and um, they are different types of uh, foil gels. This one is very easy to work, like for a beginners. Um, you, you just have to like press it and uh, you can go over as many times as you want and it will just cover the entire uh, tip. I've got a couple of the tiny dots in here and I want them to be covered. You can see it because it looks so pretty. Um, absolutely amazing and depending how much uh, product you put it uh, you've got a different um, different style so next step after we have done that we have to top coat our design okay you could just paint something um, the leaves now and then top coat them after you cure them but I want to do those sugaring over it uh, so we have to high shine top coat it at first cook it in. But as I say, this rose gold is just a perfect sheet. So my dots are here and what I'm doing now is I'm taking the brush and I'm just dragging them in to join them in. So just join them in. It is a kind of another pattern which you could do it. Take some sugar glitter and we've got few different guys sugar glitters. We've got uh, snow effect, sugar one, sugar two, sugar three. Uh, so all sort of different ones depending on your need. And you can also mix and match them together as well um, to, to have a different uh, sparkles um, through it. Okay, cook this one in. And then the top coat, the top coat has to be cooked really well. So I cannot remove my first tip yet. Otherwise it will stick in everywhere. That's it. Should be cured properly. <laughs> Take a D-liner brush. And on this one, I will do again, different type of leaves. 
blob rounded blob rounded blob and then join them in blob then blob then join it in I don't want to cover uh, the best part of the design so like I don't want to place anything in there but I can place it on the bottom so blob join it in another one has to go opposite so I will place a little bit over the foil and then join it in that's it you know sometimes less is more sprinkle and cook it so you can see it guys this is so extremely sound friendly design um, I'm definitely going to use it on my clients as well because uh, sometimes we need those quick uh, quick design so let me check the first one first one is ready I'm taking the uh, brush the nice and soft brushes remove the excess of it and you can see it what a pretty it's amazing this design really is look at those gold and then sugaring effect like absolutely fantastic design so this one goes in here the second one is cooked as well it doesn't look nice and then clean the excess so pretty so I want to show you in different angles where the gold reflects the light and then where you can clearly see the design fantastic and you know you can do it on two nails and and this one is so minimalistic I would say but look at the pattern like which we have created uh, it's actually uh, it actually goes with the leaves which we have painted on the side as well uh, yeah if you have enjoyed this video hit the like button for me if you're new in he here subscribe to the channel to see lots of more tutorials we've got over 700 videos guys for you in here oh wow look at this simple that's so pretty and amazing set. Yeah, I'm sending you glittery hacks and bye for now.